Linked symbols in Adobe XD allow designers and teams to share symbols across documents and receive update notifications, keeping those shared symbols always in sync. This powerful feature has a really elegant user experience that's worth taking a detailed look at. Let's dive into it together. I'm here in Adobe XD, and I have a set of icons I'm working with. This file originated in Adobe Illustrator. I've since converted it to a native XD file by opening it within XD and then saving the file. I've also gone in and saved each of the individual icons as symbols. You can see that here in the symbol section of the Assets panel. I can also tell that I've converted them to symbols because when I roll over the document, instead of having a blue selection highlight, it has a green selection highlight. That lets me know it's a symbol. From here, I'd like to start integrating the icons into an active design. I want this source document to be what's known as a sticker sheet or a brand kit. I'd like this to be the master version of all the icons that I use in multiple projects. So to sort of simulate that concept, I'm going to come in and create a second document. And when that opens up, just to make life simpler here, I'm going to close out the Assets panel. And I want to see both of these designs side by side, just so you can see how things are affected as I'm working. From here, I want to start working on a new project. And to do that, I'll bring over some of the symbols that are here in my source design. So I'll switch back to the source document. I'll click here on one of the symbols, and I'll pull down on File to copy it to the clipboard. And then I'll swing back over to my second window, and I'm going to paste it on the canvas. So I'll click here and select Paste. One of the things you'll notice first is that this still looks like a symbol. It has that green selection outline. But in addition to that, if I zoom in here, I can see that it's got a link icon in the upper left-hand corner. This lets me know that this icon in this project is linked to another document that also has the same icon. I'm going to go a little bit further by copying a few more of these symbols to the clipboard, switching over to that other document, and pasting them onto the canvas. From here, let's assume that some time has gone by, and I've continued to use these source icons in individual projects. I then go back and decide I want to change the source symbol set in some manner. So I'll switch back over to that source icon set. And let's say I decide to change a color that occurs throughout many of the icons. I'll come to this shade of blue that I extracted originally from the icon set. And I'm going to change it to a lovely shade of pink. So changing quite a few of those icons. I'll pull down under File to go ahead and save those changes. And now when I switch over to my working icon set, I get a few indications that let me know that changes have occurred. Let's go ahead and resize this window back out to full size. And we'll focus on that first indicator. I closed up the Assets panel a while ago. But notice if I zoom in here, I can see that the Asset icon has a blue dot. That lets me know that there's an alert there or changes that have happened in the Assets panel. If I reopen the Assets panel, I can see here in the Symbol section that there are now notifications letting me know that individual icons have changed in that source document. If I roll over the notification, I get a quick preview to the left there of the change that I made. I also get a tooltip that lets me know the time that the change might have been made and the source document associated with that change. If I'd like to, I can just click on the notification to apply the update on that individual symbol. And I can keep doing that with each notification for each symbol. I also have the option to just update all instances of an updated symbol by clicking on the button here towards the bottom. Let me go ahead and undo that just for a moment. If I no longer want some of my symbols to be associated with the source symbol document, I can come up to any of those symbols and in the right menu, select Make Local Symbol. That will retain it as a symbol. It behaves like a symbol here in my destination document, but any changes that I make to the source will no longer affect this particular symbol. One last point, if I were to rename or delete the source file, I'll get an indication with a red icon here that the connection has been lost. I can then browse for the new file location, or if it's been renamed, just point to that new file. Well, that's it. As I mentioned earlier, this is an incredibly powerful feature with a very elegant user experience. I encourage you to give it a try.